Welcome to Bar Cart Bookshelf, a video series about books and the drinks they inspire. My name is Elias, and today we're talking about Come Up and Served Cold by Marion Deeds. Come Up and Served Cold is an historical fantasy noir set in 1929 Seattle. It's a story of magical herbs and speakeasies, thwarted marriages, manufactured prejudices against shapeshifters, and a core mystery that brings all of these elements together. In classic noir fashion, you aren't really going to know what's going on until the very end, and it is a wonderfully tight little novella, only about 200 pages, so something that you can read and uh, devour in the course of the afternoon, as I did. I uh, found that I was uh, having to take an extra long lunch in order to continue reading, um, and as soon as the rest of my day finished up, I was right back in uh, Deed's Historical Seattle to, to finish the mystery. It's the sort of book that I really hope I get to see more of uh, moving forward, especially because, as you can see, there is a cocktail glass on the cover, and <laughs> when that's the case, you know that's something that we're really going to love here at Barkhart Bookshelf. So, just a really sharp little novella uh, that is going to provide uh, a great deal of story in uh, a few amount of pages, and uh, one that really is a, a delightful morsel, leaving you uh, both satisfied and eager for more uh, as we move forward. So without any further ado, why don't we turn to today's drink and uh, get celebrating. So, we are going to start not with our base spirit, but with some time. Our drink today is called A New Hat. It's inspired by the speakeasy in the novel Violet's Hat Shop, which is underneath a hat shop. And so we have characters who come in and are speaking the password to try and get in, which is asking after, after hats. And so, of course, we're going to make a new hat. And I've got a couple of sprigs of thyme now in my small tin, and I've got my muddler in hand. So we're going to start by muddling that thyme. We've got all the thyme in the world. <laughs> uh, one of the things I really enjoyed about the book was that uh, there are notes where we hear about herbs and things. It helps when the proprietress of the speakeasy is an herbalist herself. And you're going to want to lightly muddle the thyme that you've got in there. You don't want to be too hard on it because it's really a delicate plant. Just some gentle pressing with your muddler to get those uh, plant oils expressed. And I can already smell them. Uh, it's really wonderfully clean and herbal. And then we'll get our base spirit. We've got an old Tom gin uh, from Haymans of London. Uh, Old Tom style gins are a little bit softer, a little bit sweeter than uh, your classic London dry gin, so I find that they really pair well in uh, fruit forward drinks like uh, we're going to have here, things that are going to bring their own herbal components as well. Uh, so we're going to want an ounce and a half of that Old Tom gin. And if this isn't a gin that you can find, try it out with your particular favorite style gin, see what you think, maybe find uh, one of both and do a, a taste test comparison because, as you can see, we are going to be opening some sparkling wine here. So you might want to make more than one in the course of an evening. We've got our ounce and a half of gin in there and we'll get going with the rest of our modifiers. This week's recipe is a variation on a classic gin cocktail, the French 75, but we've got our thyme here and we've got our black cherry grenadine, which we've used before. Uh, it's going to bring some really nice dark fruit notes uh, and when we're done, it's going to make the drink pink to match the cocktail on the cover, uh, which is a nice little... Uh, way to have things happen. And so we've got our gin, three quarters of an ounce of black cherry grenadine, and 
our time, our muddled time in there, then we're going to get lemon juice. Wonderful. You want three quarters of an ounce of lemon juice in there as well. Fantastic. Yeah, just really get that a little bit light touching. Yeah. <laughs> Sometimes the lemons don't cooperate on their own. So we've got all of our primary ingredients in our small tin. And then we'll add ice. Get just a couple of cubes in there. That's looking good. Take our big tin and cap it. And shake it up. You don't want to shake too long because, again, you do have the not cooperating the time in there, and the ice is also going to be bruising that time and uh, shaking it up, waking it up. And then, because we've got our herb in there, our thyme, we're going to want to double strain that so we don't get little torn up bits of of thyme leaf in our glass. Wonderful. Just a very little bit of that. Fantastic. So you can see we're already looking a bit pink here, and we already have that uh, amount of space left in our glass that we expect when we're using the 8 ounce glass in our standard sized cocktail. And so to top it off, because this is a celebration as well. Um, in the novel, we've got uh, some sparkling wine. I'm using a Prosecco today, but certainly you can try a Champagne or a Cava as well. Um, whatever your favorite sparkling wine is, is going to be really nice in this. I would recommend something drier, though, rather than a sweeter uh, sparkling wine. And we'll just top our cocktail with that sparkling wine. Wonderful. Don't want it to foam up too much. Good. <laughs> and then, just to finish things off so that you get on the nose as you sip your cocktail, a bit of that fresh thyme as well. I'm going to take three sprigs of thyme and get those sort of balanced on top on the surface of the glass all together like that and there you have it so there our lovely pink cocktail in honor of come up and served cold by marion deeds is called a new hat a french 75 variation with a fruitier herbal take uh, come up and served cold is available now i've got a link to find the book down below as well as links to uh, the boston shaker for tools and ingredients, and to Twitter and Instagram for written versions of today's recipe. Please try the drink. Let me know what you think. It's a really wonderful one for spring, for these warm uh, spring days, and for the days that are not so warm, a little bit rainier, uh, just like Seattle. Uh, until next time, please like, share, and subscribe. Hit that bell at the top so you never miss an episode. Try the drink. Let me know what you think. I love to hear your comments. And now, until next time, cheers.